Hello, Leo. This is your July 2018 reading. I wanted to get this out as soon as I can. You know, it may not resonate with all Leos. Um, your birthday is coming up soon also at the end of July there. And I hope we're going to have a pleasant end of July anyway. But this is for the beginning. And uh, I know you have Venus coming through your sign, so you may have some love offers or feel like you want to make some love offers or may just be thinking about love. But not everybody, but Venus is going through your sign. So Leo, Venus, July 2018. You also got an eclipse, Leo. July 2018. What's going on? General reading. Venus and the eclipse. What is going on? Coming up soon. A lot of changes for Leo. Maybe some welcome changes too, you know? Some of you have been feeling kind of stuck. Not be able to move on from certain situations or maybe things are just moving too slow in general. So let's find out. You got the desire card. It's in the reverse. You're just not feeling lackluster, feeling, you know, a lot of like desires as the overall energy beginning into July. You are coming over oppression. Let's find out what's crossing that though. It's in the reverse. It's a ten of wands. It's in reverse. And that's good when it's in reverse, but it depends on also what is crossing it. But this is someone who was carrying a burden before, and they just kind of unloaded it. So why is the Ten of Wands there? I need to turn out that light. It's too much of a glare. I don't know if you can see the cards, but I'll tell you what they are. Ten of Wands, why are you in reverse for Leo? Could be over an air sign. And, you know, that could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, not in that order, but they're crossing you. Apparently, maybe they were uh, making you feel like you were carrying a burden. Maybe they're the ones that made you feel like you were carrying a burden. The goal. Sorry if I stop. I'm trying to um, understand things. I'm trying to uh, bring in the energy, the vibes of what's going on. The Ten of Swords, in reverse, the goal. That's coming out of feeling betrayal. It's in reverse, so that's still a good card. because Is that coming out of feeling betrayed? Maybe by this air energy. Or maybe they're feeling that way with you. Foundation. I'm trying to move this along and get this out for July. Foundation. No more sneaky behavior, underhanded tactics, no, tactics, no longer flying over the radar, under the radar, I mean, and just basically no no longer willing to put up with secrets and, and, and not know what's going on in the past. What's going on in the past for uh, Leo? Coming out of feeling stuck and worried and abandoned. You, you went through a ringer. It's like you're just brushing your shoulders off of the dust of, of negativity that happened in the past. Let's go forward. And I can clarify these if you want. But near future, could be the next few days, next few weeks. Someone from the past, someone's still coming back, okay? I said that about Venus. Sometimes that happens. You may be thinking that. Or someone may be really coming back from the past. And, then, and remember this. It may not be the person you want. A lot of people think, oh, it's, it's, it's you know, some such and such is coming back. And it doesn't work that way. They do come back. Sometimes it's someone you don't want, you know, come back, come back, will come back. I want to make that clear because people get angry with me. I said, well, the one I wanted didn't come back. Well, that's not my fault. It's the one that, and they said, this is someone I didn't want came back. Well, hopefully it's the one you want. The person's going to give you strength. I don't want to put that out yet. Okay. I didn't want to put that out as the possible future outcome, but I'm doing that now. 
So someone in the past maybe is a good thing because they're going to give you strength. Okay. Possible future outcome advice card. Prince of, the, Prince of Disc, almost says princess. It doesn't matter. It could be male or female. They're in reverse. It's a younger type uh, earth energy. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But they're in reverse. They may be uh, coming towards your devices, let, letting you know they're going to be there. I'm going to clarify that. There's no way I can, with my other deck, know what they're about. But they, they may be the uh, coming in towards the outcome. What is coming towards you, what the people are thinking about you, the outside environment. Queen of Discs. It's, it's Earth Energy. Again, she's in the upright. Let's find out what's going on. I will in a minute. But you've got a Queen of Discs coming towards you. Hopes and fears. New beginnings. Your fear new beginnings or you're hoping for a new beginning. And a fresh beginning. It's something that you don't think about. You just jump into. The outcome. What is the outcome? Making a final decision. We're going to clarify these. Because you also got the Eight of Cups. I saw that in Cancer Spread. Someone walks away. Is it overall energy? Um, it could be that you're... I'm seeing that for Cancer too. Is walking away from one person and wanting to start something else later on. I don't know if this is an ex or a third party situation. Maybe you're choosing a person because you are making a final decision. Let's find out what it is first. First, why is the uh, Ten of Swords the outcome? I mean, not the outcome, the goal. I'll get this straight in a minute. The goal. It's in reverse, remember. Why is it the goal? Happy home. You know, you're, you're coming, you want to come out of betrayal and wanting a happy home. Nothing wrong there. Seven of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse the, uh, the foundation? Seven of Swords. Why are you the foundation for Leo? King of Cups. That could do have to do with the water sign. It's in reverse. Maybe you had a, a, a water sign in your life that sneaky behavior did occur. Whether they did it to you or you did it to them. It was there in the past. It's over with now. It, it came out with this King of Cups in reverse. But... The foundation is you're coming, you came out of a, 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 a situation that was not exactly the most honest um, circumstances. Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse in the past. That's coming out of feeling abandonment when it's in reverse. Five of Pentacles, why are you there? Could be with this King of Pentacles. You got a lot of Pentacles here, you know, Earth sign person. So you might have come out of feeling abandoned with this King of Pentacles. Let's find out what this, I want to know what this, uh, someone coming back from the past possibly is, the Six of Cups. Could be just thinking about the past, but you were gaining strength because of it, because you got the uh, Nine of, of uh, Wands. That's regaining strength, recovering your health, you know, and just, uh, physical and mental. So why are you there, Six of Cups, with the Strength card? It's over a relationship, a past relationship. It's in the upright. Now the outcome here, you got the princess of dis prince, bleh, prince of disc. I don't know why I want to call this a princess, but the prince of disc is in reverse. It's 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 coming towards as the outcome or the advice. Let's find out which one it is. Prince of disc, why are you there? The reason why I'm reading the cards this way this time because I want it spontaneous. I want it not you know planned out. The Queen of Cups. So with the Queen of Cups, you have the King of Cups here, you have the Queen of Cups. You may be having a couple people as the outcome, and you may have to make a decision, because I do see you making a final decision. Uh, the Queen of Discs, why, why are you coming towards Leo? Someone's maybe, someone may be wanting to work with you, because that's the Eight of Pentacles. That's someone hard at work. could be someone that's a hard worker coming towards you. Or maybe even someone offering some of you a job. Or maybe wanting to work out a situation, like I said. Because um, the Eight of Pentacles and you got the Queen of Pentacles. That's a solid type person. And a solid type offer with the Eight of Pentacles. They're, they're hard workers or they offer that, like I said. 
full card. Okay. Full card, why are you there? Full card, why are you there? That's your hopes and fears, Leo. Give and take. You want a new beginning. You're hoping for some give and take, a new beginning. See, no longer hanging around. No more, uh, could have a message coming your way, but this is hopes and fears. It's, it's about giving and taking. You're wanting to straighten your life out, and you're wanting a new beginning. Okay. Judgment or making the final, or decision card. The outcome. You're going to make a final decision. It's not like you're choosing between two. You're just making a final decision. What is that final decision, Leo? There's a moon card. I got that for cancer, too. I need another card. You're making a decision over um, something that was hidden from you, and you know it. You knew about it. You know about it. You're going to know about it, and you're going to make a decision because something was hidden from you. Why is it? Why? Why is the moon card there? Page of Cups. Yeah, I think you're going to uh, offer something to somebody. Page of Cups is an offer, a message of love. Could be an offer, but it's usually a messenger, possibly a young messenger, a younger person, water sign. And you could be making a decision of who to offer love to. And what's going to help you make that decision is something that happened that shouldn't have, I guess, a secret that came out, a deception that came out, something you didn't see before came out and now you're going to make a decision and you may offer your cup to somebody and it could be that someone offers it to you. Yeah, there it is, Ace of Cups. Someone does make you an offer or you make someone else an offer. A final decision is made and an offer is made and it could be a love offer. Someone may come back in the, from the past that was in a relationship type status. When I get the hair fun, I see marriage all over the place or a contract of some sort. And it's going to bring you back some strength. And you are going to make a final decision. I'm feeling to get your life back the way you want it. And a good offer is coming. And I didn't see that to the last minute. So I'll end up, we were talking about that. So Leo, things are looking up at the end of July. Hopefully you recognize what you want. When you get out of that oppressive situation, it looks like you are. You come out of reverse. Things are looking up, Leo. And I'll probably read again about mid-July. And I'll be back. Talk to you later. Bye.